back to weekend restoration everybody this is a truck that we're not really involved with at the restoration shop but it was in our shop where Mike and I work and it is just such a neat old truck we thought we'd do a walk around video of it um, this is a 1980 Chevy Bison tandem dump truck this thing was bought as a glider kit and put together the gentleman still owns it and runs it and it only has about 71,000 original miles on it and you can tell by the interior and we'll go in there in a little while but even this fiberglass battery box how it's not all smashed up and the steps are still attached it is just been amazingly well kept the interior just blows your mind kind of the, the old wood grain that they had on these things just doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it pure and simple gets the job done Got the original old, uh, sun's reflecting there, but the original old uh, shift knob for the 413 speed. A lot of them you had your flipper down on the side, but this was, I think, a little higher grade. You got your low and high right up here and your overdrive. Just an amazing old ride that... you just don't see anymore all the badges and everything that are in there for it everything is still here you got the old school tilt steering wheel right down to the original all the original pedals with the Chevy, Chevy emblems on them dog box is still attached there it's not all smashed up and the next rare thing pretty rare truck in its own it has a pretty rare old cat in it it's a 1674 uh, that was a dual overhead cam just uh, got that distinct overhead cam rattle to it looks like it's still in pretty decent shape Big chrome lube refiner there for your oil filter. Got the original windshield washer jug here. Correct mounts and everything. Go on the other side here. Just I think I'm not sure what would have been on the top of that grill, but something is missing there. Might have been another emblem just as I said just an amazing truck for a 1980 nice big chrome air cleaner on there all that fancy stuff right now the original fuel tank that's on there you can see four of 80 got the shutter stats are usually on the outside of the rad but these ones are on the inside control your air now this old 1674 these all would have had glow plugs in them and you gotta even use them or she cap was really bad when she starts Got the old Hendrickson walking beam suspension in it. Fire this thing up and see if we can uh, hear the cackle. Got 
got your key switch down here and then I've already had this running but you would have your your heat for the glow plugs and your start switch down there enjoyed that just a tribute to one amazingly well-kept ride like even all the gauges still work up maybe the voltmeter doesn't but hey we'll let that slide all right, thanks for watching. We're going to go park this and get it back to the gentleman. Catch you later.